Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you the shortest and the smartest way of actually making a digital clock and flash professional CS 5.5, right? Um, guys, before I actually explain the action script to you, which is really very short, let me show you a published preview by hitting control enter on my keyboard guys. So here goes control enter. Okay. So the, right now the time in India is uh, 1 of 5 p.m. Right, and let's have a look at the script that is firing off uh, this kind of an effect. So uh, let me open up the actions panel. Shortcut key F9, F for Foxtrot. So guys, uh, what I've done here is uh, instead of using the timer class, I've actually used the set interval. And mind you guys, uh, the set interval a uh, method uh, instead of using the timer class is actually a very simple and short way of doing uh, things in uh, this situation set interval was probably a uh, you know a shorter way of writing uh, the code anyways so what i've done is i've uh, made sure that a function called my function fires uh, 1000 uh, every 1000 milliseconds and uh, let's see what is exactly inside the function guys inside the function i've instantiated uh, the date class Okay, and notice out here I've declared a variable my text of the type string, but I've not given it a value. I give it a value inside the set interval my function. Okay, so basically uh, what I've said out here is that let my text equal to my date. Now, guys, if I were to trace uh, my text, uh, let me just do it for you out here. If I were to trace my text for you all right have a look in the output panel <coughs> that uh, it actually traces the day the month the date the time the GMT plus uh, 530 because uh, in India I'm offset by five and a, and a half hours and of course the year okay so it uh, actually displays the whole string in the output panel let me come off so when you instantiate the date class and then you trace the date it will actually give you the day the date the time and by how many hours you're offset uh, from the green which mean time plus which year it is okay but when it comes to the analog clock all i was really interested in was uh, this uh the time okay and let's see how i actually manage that so what i've done is i have a text field on the stage and uh, i've given it an instance name show text let me show it to you now this blue colored area okay if you notice out here is classic dynamic okay and the instance name is show text guys the color is white that is because the background color is black okay the format uh, is left aligned okay in fact the margin has been set to 135 let me reset it to zero okay the behavior is single line which is fine because we have just one single line out here okay so the font is something that you can choose uh, that's entirely up to you but it's a good habit to embed the font guys so let me embed it for you as well let me say uh, <coughs> Uh, only numerals and uh, punctuation side yeah that's all that we are using uh, so let me say okay let me hit control enter once again right so although guys the date class makes sure that you get the day date time gmt offset and the year but see what i've done out here is i've used the my text dot substring method and i'm ensuring that only characters in the range 11 to 19 are being displayed so using the substring method and uh, then declaring a range okay and the range that i'm declaring is basically just to extract this much out of the whole string which is this much i'm extracting only this bit and that's all that i'm displaying because i'm displaying it through the text property of the show text text field that has been drawn which is a dynamic text field okay so guys actually this code is uh, barely eight lines 
it's barely eight lines of code and i'm actually fond of making uh, shorter and smarter codes this is just to add to uh, that so guys i hope you like this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial you have a very good day guys bye bye peace